Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we'll be talking about these products and these are uh, highlighting uh, pearl paint from e.l.f. and the shades I got is gold star and pink lady and these retail for $4. So that's how the tube looks like and at the back you can see the name of this product it's highlighting pearl paint and it's pretty plain nothing much on the packaging and it's a squeezy tube and you can see a sticker here which uh, tells you the name of the shade so that's that so here's what applicator looks like it's pretty much similar to a lip gloss applicator and you have to just squeeze out the product and apply it nothing fancy there and here is swatch for pink lady and you can see like uh, I have swatched it and then right next to it I have blended it as well so you can see it has no glitter or anything it just has that metallic look so right now it's looking good and it dried down immediately so I cannot feel anything uh, in here so that's that you can see it's very pretty very natural day wear appropriate it's called pink lady and here is swatch for gold star and you can see uh, the swatch and right next to it I have blended it so you can see I can feel a little bit of glitter in here but it's very minutely milled and used sparingly so it's not packed in glitter it's more of a metallic sheen kind of a highlighter but still I think uh, it has micro refined glitter in it so you can see the swatches both uh, the full on swatch and the blended thing so this is gold star so guys you saw hand swatches for both the highlighters now i want to use them on my face and see uh, how they look and feel when they are actually applied on to face so let's just start so i'm using pink lady first so i wanted to do both the highlighters so i'll, I'll be using a uh, pink lady on one side and a gold star on the other and see if there is any difference between the formulas so guys i don't see any separation uh, or anything like that in the product it's good and i feel the formula is more like a gel like and it dries quickly like i'm just applying it and it has already set and uh, i have used powder on my face to set my makeup and i'm using this product over powder so it's working well so actually that's how much highlighter i will use uh, on day to day basis but for the purpose of this video i'll apply a little more so that you can see it better but uh, that much highlighter was looking great like in natural uh, daylight it was looking good but you can definitely build it up and it would be interesting to see whether this thing highlights the uh, uh, texture on your skin or not so far i like this highlighter pink lady and I cannot see any glitter or uh, this highlighter giving me any texture and it's working well over the powder and it's building well so that's how this highlighter looks like very natural and I think you can wear it on uh, bare skin as well so let's try gold star on this side so let's just blend it and guys i like to use my fingers for any liquid highlight i think it applies better that way in fact i use it uh, for my liquid and cream both so fingers are your best tools when working with liquids and creams but you can definitely use a brush or beauty blender if you like to So guys that's gold star and I do see little bit of glitter specks I don't know they are because of my eyeshadow or this highlighter but yeah I can definitely see something there 
but it's not uh, like uh, too much visible and you can see uh, this thing worked well as well and uh, there is no it's not highlighting the texture or anything working well over the powder and let's see if it's buildable so guys I'm applying these highlights in a patting motion I'm not rubbing anything because I don't want makeup underneath to move And yes, that uh, glitter thing is in the highlighter. So if you don't like that glitter thing on your face, uh, I think you should avoid this highlighter. It's called Gold Star. It has glitter. But this side, I can't see any glitter. So Pink Lady is glitter free. Whereas uh, Gold Star has glitter. I'm using Pink Lady to highlight my nose and see like what it looks like so it's good the formula is like not runny you can work with it and it dries quickly so i like it so this is pink lady i'm using and you can see how much uh like difference it's making so guys, those were all the swatches and details about this product and uh, I hope you got a fair idea how these products work and in my opinion, Pink Lady is more day wear appropriate. You can wear this kind of a highlighter on your bare skin without any makeup because all it's giving you is a sheen or the glow. It do not have any glitter or anything like that. So you can totally use it on your bare skin to get that glow or under the makeup gold star is more like a nightwear appropriate highlighter in my opinion it has micro fine glitter in it but it's not too much like it's very uh, scattered it's very less but it is there so i think it would look gorgeous over the makeup and during the night time instead of daytime because the glitter things would shine and they won't look cute so uh, i mean at least for me i don't like glitter on my face so i i will stay away from this highlighter during the daytime but for nighttime i think it's so perfect talking about the formula the formula is great in both the highlighters i haven't seen any separation or anything i think it's more of gel based highlighter it sets down quickly and it's buildable it can work on powdered uh, makeup so uh, it's great like uh, it's a good highlight it can work over makeup or without makeup and it's not enhancing any texture on your cheekbones or on your face or anywhere else and I think you can uh, mix them with your foundation as well and get a little bit glow out of your foundation so uh, that's that and in my opinion uh, you should try it out I think if you want something day wear appropriate go for pink lady and if you like glitter you can go for gold star so those are the only two colors I have used from the line and uh, those were my opinions on this and i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comment box below if you have any questions or you want me to review any product so that was all for this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and i'll catch you in my next video till then bye bye